All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting for golf clubs, which we haven't done in quite a long yeah. time. So we'll see if the uh, thrift stores have uh, restocked on some uh, good stuff, but uh, never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Yeah, yeah. Man, I can't believe it. Uh, we follow you too, we look for golf clubs too. Oh, awesome, there's did you find something. anything in there? Oh, uh, there's so uh, Yeah, yeah. I Rare. come in here to pet the dogs usually, that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> I didn't even know there were dogs in there. Yeah, oh, they're yeah, usually, usually in there. there's a great big dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're always asleep on the uh, couches. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Nice, nice golf shot. Thank yeah. you. Nice Thank to meet you. Oh no, there's not gonna be any golf clubs in here. Sorry, the checks. I already been checked. Let's just go pet the dogs. Yeah. That sounds weird to say out loud, but it's a thing. No golf clubs, but Val and Tier are both here. Val got the primo spot. Yeah. That's me. I get to sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, the manager spotted us and he said he's got some golf clubs. Oh, gotcha. Is that what you're looking for? Anything really, just like hitting new things. Cool. Secret stash. Cool. Yeah, a little putter. Oh wow! That yeah, cool. that, those inside of that aren't really for sale. Oh, gotcha. oh okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> cool to look at. But yeah. these are for sale. These are for sale. Okay, and I got so. those tighterers that I've been holding for somebody for five years now. So. <laughs> okay, That's all I got right now. Okay. Do you know how much this one would be? Uh, a dollar. A dollar? Okay, cool. We can do that. Okay. Thanks for showing us. Yeah. I get them all the time. Yeah. yeah, that's why. You never know. I mean, again, we know that it's dependent on what they donate. Yeah. Always worth checking. Thank you. Okay. So the uh, manager recognized us, said he had a uh, bunch of golf clubs in there. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Got a uh, Nike Mock Speed. Cool. We got to see volunteer. Yep. See what else he says. He got another set in the back. Cool. He said he told you, but uh, you didn't know that because obviously you would not have asked me to. Yeah, I don't remember him telling you going somewhere. Right. He yeah. might have told me a month Cobra. ago. Yeah. But he didn't remind me. Yeah. Yeah. But he was going to be gone, but he said he'd come in Saturday morning to help you. Okay. And then Charlie, yeah. too, he's going to help cool. you tomorrow. I'm not worried on the week. You know, yeah. It wasn't yeah. so bad. That's what I said. No, Tuesday's the worst day. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I had like four cars at once, but everybody just brought it up. So. Do you know how much you want for just the bag? Yeah. Or the, I all see the that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a gentleman yeah, that sits on the porch of the house. Oh, tailor-made? Yeah, um, two bucks for that one. Two yeah. bucks. And then, so how much did you want for just all that? Yeah, for the whole thing? Yeah. Most of it, yeah. Are these all tailor? No. There's a couple of Wilsons and older ping. She's going to get out in two weeks. I said, well, it's Oh, oh, uh... He told you this. Yeah. Thing. yeah okay. King Cobra. Where's your dollar? Uh, how about um, for everything? Ten bucks. We can do a little bit more than that if you want. Is it? No, ten dollars. You sure? Yep. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> that a golf so I, guess so I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you find any money in the back, though, uh, that's yeah, yours. Split it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the donation. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that was a pretty sweet deal. We got these for uh, ten dollars, and we ended up donating a little bit more. But uh, we got the uh, Wilson midsize. We got a TaylorMade two hundred. The uh, Wilson bag, an older uh, Cobra. Yeah. It's be fun to uh, knock around. All right, we popped into another thrift store that's super tiny and there were no golf clubs. We found some really cool golf hats, which we'll show you a B-roll now, but we got an awesome burner, old school style that we could not resist and a Travis Matthews hat, new with tech. So definitely cool finds. We'll meet you at the next spot. There's only $2 a piece. $2. Yeah, you can't beat that. No. Nah. It's like a, uh, imagine, uh, what's his name? Ian Poulter wearing that. I don't think he was ever, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like, even know what that style is. go with like a biker's outfit. Yeah. Super funky. All right, haven't you made it back to the golf clubs? We've already found a couple of things. This thing is really cool. The perfect link. It's like one of those as seen on TV uh, training aids. The perfect link, a unique golf training device placed on the top of your putter automatically trains you to align your shoulders, arms, and hands into the ideal putting stance. Have more confidence and lower your scores. Well, that sounds pretty, pretty good. And for $6, improving my putting is uh, worth more than that. And pretty Ashley also putting. found this. Keep walking Johnny Walker. Yeah, it's like a business backpack. Yeah, that thing's awesome. It's like business in the front, party in the back. It's the mullet of backpacks. It's the mullet of backpacks. All right, let's go see if they have any uh, golf clubs. Yeah. These are pretty cool. We got a bunch of golf clubs in here. Got some baseball bats and such. This is a place where we found the uh, the full set of those fiberglass Sears irons. Mm -hmm. Got some full set of uh, Ray Floyds by Dunlop. Oh, they got the uh, Dunlop uh, uh, Crazy Locos. Oh, yeah. yeah. John Daly was a uh, part of that for a while. 
The uh, Dunlop Loco, or not the uh, Dunlop, the Dunlop uh, Redneck Putter. Yeah. We uh, that bought that. Really awesome. Yeah, it was a really good putter. It's like a premium milled putter. Mm -hmm. Goes for like over a hundred dollars. Some yeah, of the I wasn't models. Expecting that, but it felt really great. And, well, it looks like the uh, the bag and the uh, training aid are the uh, highlights of this Goodwill. This rolling bat, the uh, Velos are actually pretty good, but that one's in like pretty not dang. Not the greatest condition. Not the greatest condition, but if you find the uh, certain models of the Velos, those are definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, there you go. Training aids and backpack. That's all you need, right? Subscribe for more. <laughs> all right, we popped into Dick Sporty Goods, and their used section is completely full of all of the uh, old stuff from last year. See if there's any uh, good deals mixed in here between. Got a bunch of the Sim 2s, got some Sim 2 Fairway Woods, got the uh, Callaway Epic Speeds G410 in here for 369 Got a uh, Vokey left-handed back here for $65. Not a bad deal. This is the uh, SM6. What do you got? This guy's been in here a while, right? Let's oh, yeah. Thing's been in here forever. I always wonder why they just don't like throw a new grip on there. It That's doesn't so really cheap. cost up that much. Yeah, two hundred seventy-five dollars on that one. Huntington Beach. Oh yeah, the Cleveland ones. Cleveland putters are super underrated. Fifty, 50 bucks. Fifty bucks. That's a good deal. That's why it's underrated. Yeah, they're <laughs> underrated and they don't sell for that much new. But the uh, used market, there's usually a little bit more. Uh, they don't go down in price as much. Mm -hmm. I'll have That's to nice. try that one out. That might be for personal use. Got a, a Spider X going for two thirty-four. I think um, PJ Superstore is selling those right now for a deal. It's like two hundred nineteen, brand new in plastic. So. Wow. If you're by a uh, PJ Superstore, check that out. Didn't see anything over here. And then we got a bunch more over here. There's a bunch of like demo clubs. Got some Mizuno JPXs up there for 1200. Cowboy Maverick going for at the Matori Shaft for 269. The Mavericks have kind of not held their value as well as you thought they would. Yeah. Uh, I got the new Mizuno in here or last year's Mizuno for $335. So yeah, you'll see like the stuff within the last two or three years, the prices, it's almost a better deal to buy them new because you get like a free fitting with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, like on the older stuff, they usually have a little bit better deal. All right, so we tried out the uh, Cleveland putter and neither of us uh, really got along with it. No. It felt really good and everything, but we did get along with this uh, Odyssey O-Works. I didn't even notice it over there. Odyssey O-Works Black number one for uh, eighty nine ninety nine, we have a ten dollar uh, off uh, coupon it's on there. So, a hole in my digital yeah, pocket. you think it expires in a couple of days, so we <laughs> might as well get this. We were both making putts, which uh, is a rarity. Both, yeah. Yeah, I think I, over it. I think I made two or three in a row from all different uh, ranges. So we'll you throw know some. It's either broken or perfect. Well, you made a putt with it, so it's not broken. <laughs> we stopped off for some lunch at uh, Four Rivers Barbecue, and I had some tacos, but this thing looks amazing. French fries, mac and cheese. Buffalo chicken, jalapenos. I think there's pulled pork in there too. I'm not really sure. Everything you need though, all yeah. in one. All the sauces you could ever want too. <laughs> Surrounded in range. We'll meet you at the next spot. Is it good? Oh, very good. All right, next thrift shop, and we found this ping bag, which looks uh, really cool, but it's kind of in a little bit less than desirable uh, condition. But I like it was, the style, though. yeah, that was in really good condition. We'd uh, pick it up, but uh, one thing we are going to pick up is this very oddly shaped uh, putter. Looks like a hot dog. Yeah, it looks like a hot dog. I've been messing around with it for a little bit, and it's. I have no idea. This could be the uh, the new putter. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, pretty sweet there. But also, something you really don't really see at a uh, thrift store very often. We like we're trying to figure out what this is. It obviously, looks like medical. And what'd you say it was? I think it's an ultrasound machine. Ultrasound machine. Yeah, and then I was reading the manual and it says like creates a clear oh, picture. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. A clear picture, the Voyager XL. So if you guys are in the uh, the market for a... You want to see your innards. Yeah, you want to <laughs> see your innards. There you go. I think we're going to uh, get the uh, hot dog putter. <laughs> Let me shut the uh, next spot. Can't keep it together. Oh, man, I wish we were filming the uh, cashier. We tried to keep that scene as uh, family friendly as possible, but he did not. That was... Uh, yeah. It's pretty funny, but uh, what were you saying? We need to get a... Uh... Yeah, I want to find like a custom hot dog bun cover for it. Yeah, there we That's go. Sweet. This is going straight in the bag. <laughs> now, this is a serious uh, golf case right here. I don't even know if that's what it's for. It's just basically like a straight tube that encloses around it. $35. I've never seen that uh, travel case. Ashley already found a couple of cool things. Team USA. Yeah, beanie right there. The Olympics are going on. Oh, that's awesome. Harry Potter, Hagrid, and Fluffy. It's so fluffy. <laughs> that's how I deal with all animals. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, look at these things. It's like a NASCAR green thing, but the uh, they're like coffee mugs shaped like uh, planters. That's so cool. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Uh -huh. Popcorn for the uh, race. Let's check out the uh, golf clubs over here. Got a bunch of tennis rackets, too. Oh, it's like a wooden putter. I think it's missing like the inlay, but uh, oh, it's all one. Is it all one piece? Yeah. I think it is. Oh, that's all. It doesn't even have a grip. It's just <laughs> one piece of wood. That thing has to feel amazing. You know, the uh, Nike Unitize putter. It's like mm -hmm. all one piece of uh, metal. It's all one piece of wood. Yeah, this is like the old school version of that. <laughs> I have to try that out. World's greatest putter versus a uh, all wooden putter. It's worth a shot. Well, I guess it's not all wooden. There's screws in there. 
I wonder what they did there, why Mostly, they did that. I don't know, probably counterbalance weight. Yeah. I don't know. Let's uh, check out the, uh, got a Ram uh, Square uh, 3 wood right here. Got a tennis racket. I think this is a Wilson Burn, even though it's in the uh, the Prince thing. Oh, teamwork. Maybe. Don't. That's a brand new head racket. That's a little bit lower end one, but the Wilson Burns, if that's what it is, this thing is actually, yeah, Burn 100 V2. It's like a 50 or $60 uh, racket, and it's actually huh. in good condition. Check the frame. Yeah. It's not like mine where they're usually broken. That's what I was going to say. Yours is a little <laughs> dense in there. Yeah, I played the junior tennis when I was a kid. I was actually better at tennis than I was at uh, uh, golf. I didn't enjoy it as much. There's Got lots a, of club throwing. Yeah, lots of club throwing and lots of racket throwing at me because I wasn't a very good doubles partner. Speaking of club throwing, this guy looks like he's had a uh, bad round at Hot Cakes Los Angeles, California, Balancini. I don't know how you say that. I know there's some people that's literally all they do is buy and sell uh, ties because they're super easy to ship. I just have no idea which ones are worth anything. That one's kind of cool though. We got another Olympic goodie too. I'm not sure if this one is vintage, but the gray tag makes me think it is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. cool. Yeah, you can just like walk around. I'm official. You can just sneak in. There you go. <laughs> You too, thank you. All right, $12 later, we picked up that all wooden putter. We got the USA beanie, the uh, fluffy shirt, and then that racket, which I think is going to go for $60 or $70. That was only $5, so definitely a uh, good deal there. We passed on the USA shirt because it didn't fit Ashley, and it obviously wasn't going to fit <laughs> no. me. Also, that cricket used to be like a Burger King. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. Yeah. Drive through cell phone, though. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Probably a good business model. <laughs> How's it going? How's going? Your world's least favorite customer. <laughs> well, we, we hear about y'all all the time. Thank you for the advertisement. Oh. Because there's totally like people going, we saw you on Stack Golf. I'm like, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you, Ashley. How are you? Good. Awesome. You had those shoes for me? Oh, yeah. this, she was I, saying that there's a different yeah. head cover. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. We just got in these RBZs. I just brought them. Yeah, it's like a good price on this. Yeah. Stiff, well, lightweight graphite shafts. You like never find oh, stiff yeah. and graphite. No. I was like, I just got this hybrid from her. Because <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy graphite shaft. But oh, you the don't, Pro Force V2. Yeah, yeah, it's a 110 gram shaft. It's like you can't find heavy graphite anymore. Mm -hmm. so. You buy something? Yeah. Yeah, making deals in the parking I can lot. Buy, I can buy it before you even price it. <laughs> and. Oh, the blue tees. Oh, nice. What Number nine. I, I have a small collection of those. <laughs> the pro types. You like need to be a bigger collection of them. Well, I have. <laughs> the, PT. The, I have that. Oh, it's I have on the two ball, okay. the six, and then the three, which is like the high toe version of it, all in my yeah, at home. Nice. And I have the two in the black version of this putter too. These tricks on Ash. These are pretty nice. Seven eight fives. The... All right, folks, what a day if you uh, ask me. We ended up picking up a couple of things at the last shop there, but that was definitely one of our uh, more meandering videos. Which <laughs> That's is, saying something for us. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of known for meandering videos, but that one might have taken the cake or the uh, the hot dog, as we should say today. But uh, <laughs> good dad joke. Up, yeah, that was a good dad joke yeah. for me. But uh, we ended up picking up uh, some clubs at the last shop, which we'll show you here in a second. Mm -hmm. But uh, you would think that those ones would be the best ones. Yeah. Well, they're probably the most expensive ones. But the ones that surprised me the most, besides the hot dog putter, were these Wilson Staff Midsize. Size RMs, which stand for uh, Robert Mangellis. He designed uh, most of uh, Wilson's clubs for like 30 or 40 years. Mm -hmm. He's got some absolute classics uh, under his belt, and these are definitely uh, some of my favorites that oh, I've so ever hit of his. Could not believe how forgiving they were. I hit it like dead off the toe, and it still went straight. Yeah, we hit at the uh, Disney uh, driving range, and it is like extremely tight it's there. Very the boots, intimidating. Yeah, you almost feel like you're gonna hit somebody with your ball, and then like I kind of have a big looping swing. I thought yeah. I was gonna hit somebody with the uh, club on the uh, swing, so to be able to make contact with the ball out there. At all. At all, but uh, <laughs> those things are absolutely, they feel like butter. They've got the uh, Wilson fire stick shafts in there too. The uh, 2.8s, the, uh, those are, I can't I believe. Yeah, that. I was not expecting that. We got them for $10. We donated a little bit more. They're not worth like a ton of money, but uh, definitely a, a surprising find there. Uh -huh. If you ever find those, definitely uh, pick it up. And then we also got the uh, Taylor made uh, 200 steel five wood, which is classic, an all time yeah. classic. That and the V steel are some of my favorites of the uh, older uh, Taylor made ones. Uh -huh. And I was hitting like, 
moon balls with that yeah, thing. Yeah, I know. That's why I got like its space wings that went up so high. And then we also got the uh, Nike Mach Speed. Speaking of hitting it high, that thing absolutely launched it. It's got the uh, graphite shaft in there. If you're looking for like a cooler looking uh, club, I know the Nike stuff is uh, pretty collectible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nike uh, Mach Speed's definitely uh, forgiving. Cool looking, forgiving, and high launching. Yeah, this <laughs> checks all of those uh, boxes. And speaking of checking boxes, this uh, wooden putter felt absolutely amazing. Yeah. You could literally like I don't know what it is, like you felt like all the vibrations all the way through your hands. It was really unique, but super cool. Yeah, like you didn't lose any of it like in the shaft or like the or hosel the to the or shaft yeah. or the grip or anything like that. You just literally felt exactly where you're hitting it. Uh -huh. It's got a pretty traditional uh, shape too. I mean, you can't really do with like, that much with like a solid block of no. wood, but it kind of looks like the uh, putter that John Rom uses, like a uh, just like basic mallet. It worked. Except it's all wood. Yeah. yeah. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> but the uh, hot dog putter was also a uh, surprise oh, there. Oh, that it thing felt, felt re really awesome. Yeah. That was really good. There was no holes at the uh, putting green, but it kind of saved me because I just slip out every single putt yeah, that I hit. Yeah, saved you so. from embarrassment. Yeah, but uh, world's <laughs> greatest it. putter approves of the uh, hot dog putter. <laughs> yeah. We also got a, a Ping ISI wedge in there as mm -hmm. well. We got a King Cobra drive there in there, and I think there was also a, a random uh, King Cobra SSI. Yeah. Uh, four iron in there and then one of the better finds of the day was the uh, odyssey uh, o works for uh, 89 dollars usually goes for about a uh, buck 25 and then it came with the uh, head cover too which yeah. is uh that's one of the cooler looking uh, odyssey uh, head covers and in incredibly good condition too yeah this one i've tried the uh the number seven s of this uh, model i didn't get along with it but this one felt amazing and you were making putts with it yeah which is a very uh, rare occurrence <laughs> i almost kind of want to put the hot dog putter in my I know, uh, bag you, I think you, you looked like it, it up we'll throw up a picture of it there is a uh, a, a hot dog vienna, vienna sausage vienna sausage sausage made a yeah. uh, head cover for <laughs> it's it really cool. but it wasn't a putter cover it was no, a driver cover but that's why i think maybe you could like manipulate it so it would work yeah we'll have to uh get a custom built one yeah off exactly of, uh, etsy a or something dog, like that a, a hot dog uh, <laughs> putter cover <laughs> and then the find of the day in terms of value i still can't believe there were only 190 dollars were these Strixon z 785s five iron all the way down to the uh, pitching wedge and these things were like absolute butter kind of got like that hogan or uh, mizuno soft feel to it mm -hmm. but there's a little bit more of an audible click to it which i like because i grew up playing a cast uh, club so if you uh, like super soft feel but you still want to hear like that click I know uh, uh, Phil Mickelson talks about that with his putters he doesn't like them being mushy he likes to hear like a little bit of a click yeah it's what you're used to yeah yeah it's just what I, what I'm used to I like the soft feel obviously but I also like to be able to hear and feel where I hit it on the uh, face that's a long way of saying that the uh, Strix Z 785s are definitely a contender of going into the uh, the bag yeah. they go a little bit further than the uh, Wilson so the those might be battling it out I've been uh, struggling with my irons uh, lately so mm -hmm. might be a, uh, contender. That and a pickle putter, good to go. The pickle putter, you have a pickle oh, putter. Oh, sorry, that's why I have a pickle yeah. putter. Now you have a hot dog yeah, putter. Yeah, uh, that's my hot dog putter. You have to be a <laughs> pickle <touching>. putter. <laughs> but uh, we also got the uh, Mizuno Betonardi at the uh, Alexis's golf shop uh, last time mm. we were there, and she gave us the uh, correct head cover for it yeah, this time. Yeah, super nice. Yeah, that's quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, golf shops. Probably one of my favorite places to go buy. She has a lot of clubs in there. Yeah, cool. she has so many clubs, and then the uh, guy that works in there, uh, he has like you. We talked to like uh, collecting uh, the Odyssey putters and stuff. It sounds like he's got a pretty good collection yes. too. So. It's uh, pretty cool to just, I don't know, it's fun to go in there and talk off with uh, mm -hmm. people. But uh, definitely a uh, fun day. Hope you guys did like this video. If you did, like, and subscribe. And, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Oh, so we got that uh, tennis racket. Also, oh. that's my birthday. Also, it and is we your birthday. And we're going to uh, Epcot. There's the world's largest golf ball back Continue there. Continue to meander. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to meander. We won't bother you any longer. <laughs> but hope you guys did like this video. Like, and subscribe. And, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.